Okay, now that you've got your uh, final dice uh, created and you've um, baked all the ma maps for it, the last thing we need to do is to stage this. So what we want to do here is we're uh, finished baking so we can turn off the high poly. And then we've got a low poly here. Now what I'm going to do is to bake all this information in. So what I'm going to do is just make a clone of this. I always do a clone so that I can come back in time if I need to adjust something. This needs to be a copy and we're going to say, we're going to say this is going to be the left uh, die. So click OK. And then it's going to duplicate that. And then we want to turn off the original one. And so then what we want to do here is just bake all this in. So we're just going to right click and convert it to an editable poly. That'll collapse all of this. And all of that information that we had done is now permanently embedded in this. Now what we're trying to do is to stage this so that, uh, you know, when you're using dice, we're using two of them. So we need two of those. So we're going to kind of stage this. Now, at this point, we're going to be able, we're going to move this and rotate it. So we need to see where the uh, numbers are on it, the little holes with the numbers. So what we want to do is go into our material. This is our base material. And so we want to go ahead and get a bitmap. And what we can do is go in and apply a bitmap of one of the ones we baked. Uh, I have a tendency to use the um, the color, but it could be whatever you wanted to use. And I'm going to bring that in, and then we'll just uh, temporarily plug that into our base color. So now we can see our numbers on here. Just We only want to do this just for uh, the purpose of being able to stage this. So I'm going to go from the top view and hit Z to zoom in. And what we're going to do is let's move this to the left and I'm going to hold down my shift key and move this to the right. They don't have to be perfectly centered and this is going to be the right one. And of course, I'm making sure it's a copy. And so I have two. And now what I'm going to do is uh, rotate this. Make sure I have my angle snap on and then I can rotate it however I want to. Just make sure we're going to be rotating. It's going to be on a 90 degree rotation. So we rotate this 90 degrees and it's still sitting up. And then I can rotate this 90 degrees. And okay. And now I'm just going to freeform rotate them. I still keep the angle snap on that way I can snap it back at some point if I want to. And I'm just trying to get these so that they would be have more of a natural kind of feel to them like they've actually just been thrown down. And so and if I go into a perspective view I can kind of see how I might stage it. Might, I think it may be something like this is kind of what I might do once I get it inside of Sketchfab. Something about like that would be a nice staging. So that looks good. Okay, so we can take this off now. Now what we want to do is to pick both of these and then we can uh, export them. So you want to do the export selected again. So it doesn't export anything other than what we have selected. And uh, let's just go here, give it a name. So we'll export this. Be sure, you know, leave this settings the same as we done where we have did in the past, smoothing groups and preserve your edge orientation and uh, click OK. And then we can export that and then we'll bring that uh, back into Sketchfab. OK, so now. 
all you have to do is to bring it back into Sketchfab, which I already did. All you have to do is go re-upload right here. And then you can browse and re-upload it. Okay, go to my export. And then I can bring this in. And we go re-upload the model. Now it's, it's going to bring the old one in here. I'd already brought this in, but you can see this will go through its stage where it's thinking over here as it's bringing it in. It'll take a, about a minute or so uh, to bring it in. And I'm going to pause it while it does that. Okay, once it's uploaded, you'll get this check model button right here. You can click that, and then you choose to re-upload the model here, and it will bring the new version in. And then, uh, there you go. You can go back into your edit settings if you need to, to change things. But everything will come in just as the way, you know, it'll just apply the textures back to these. They already have all the mapping coordinates built on into them. So everything is lovely. And then you just want to stage it however you want to stage it. Or your view like your thumbnail then just save view and that will make that as your thumbnail and then you can exit out of here now the thing that you want to do before you export this is you want to go into your edit properties and right up here in the right hand corner you want to click on this allow texture inspection by default this is usually off you want to make sure this is on this will allow anybody that's looking at your work to be able to go in there and look at your different uh, texture maps that you made. And so for you want to allow this so that a potential employer can come in and look at and see the texture maps that you created. So be sure that you have that on. Then you, uh, you'll want to save it down here. And then you're ready to export it. Once you've got that saved, that's going to embed this little model inspector into it. But if you don't turn that on, then people can't inspect your texture maps. And you want people to be inspect your texture maps because so that you can have put this, embed this into your website. Um, you're probably uh, going to be using something like ArtStation, which is the hub for um, the uh, animation industry and game art. And you'll be able to embed this into your portfolio. Okay, so we just want to scroll down a little bit. You want to hit this embed code right here. Then turn on this uh, fix size. Okay, and that'll give it'll fix it at 640 by 480. Then copy to the clipboard, and then you can go over to Brightspace and you can embed this. Okay, over in Brightspace, this is how you would embed it. Uh, let's go ahead and expand our screen here so there's a button right here which is called insert stuff so you click on insert stuff and then what you're going to do is you go down here to embed code then you just paste that that you've copied in here you're going to turn on this allow right here and then you'll be able to see it and then i can insert this now you won't see it you'll just see this when you're coming in uh, you can actually preview by clicking this little preview button right here. And this will preview before you uh, submit. And you can see that your player will be in here. And that way anybody can uh, come in and see your work. And of course you can uh, always expand it full screen here. And you can, the uh, texture inspector is in here. So somebody can always come in here and go full screen with it. Also, uh, you can click right here, which will take you over to Sketchfab. So this way you can embed this. Um, you can put it in Brightspace to show it off. Plus, this can be embedded into a website, uh, and it can be embedded into ArtStation. Okay, hopefully that helps you. Thank you very much.